as well, uh, which is going to be Colwyn versus Dignitas. Great shot by Yeepy. Uh, Defender was a bit exposed there. They're trying to rush him down, and I don't know how well this is going to work. <laughs> that's that's really dangerous. Obviously, Yeepy already got a Defender. I mean, he is only down to two armor, but uh, rushing down Yeepy, that could have that could have been much better for him had he snagged that second Defender. It would have been basically a really really good situation. Oh, good now shot. he does get the second Defender, so it's just two armor against one Defender remaining. Yeepy is going to try and do some sort of shenanigans there. I'm not sure what that was about. I don't know if you can actually make that jump that he just attempted. Oh, oh beautiful. Easy, easy shot, standing still, and Yippee takes another successful attacking round. It's a sweet custom horn, too. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, so like I said, we have our first semifinal, we have our second semifinal immediately after this, and then we're going to run directly into the finals. So there should be no pausing between any of the sets, and I uh, hope you guys will stick with us for the entire day as we have a lot of shoot mini action still to come. All right, Lux is up now for TCM. They, uh, you know, just barely got squeak, squeaked past in extra rounds on both the first and second map. So they are hanging in there definitely with Eclipsia. Those games could have gone either way. Uh, but Lux is really, really wants to, you know, lift TCM up from this 0-2 deficit, try to take a map so that they can get this going a little bit better, but already losing two armor with three defenders remaining. Fortress is a tough one to come from behind on. Oh, and there you have it. That's 2-0 in the bag for Eclipsia. But we did see this last last time even though um, even though like you mentioned it is a little bit tougher to come up the last map uh, collided was actually a very defensive stalemate as well uh, I believe only three attack rounds were taken the yep. entire time that's right. out of uh, 18 rounds so we'll see now if uh, if sheesh can keep things rolling for Eclipsia but TCM has to work it out for him yeah specifically it's it's a little hard to come back from behind when you have multiple defenders standing and you're down an armor or two uh, because fortress the way the goal is situated in inside of a little bit of a pit or a you know sunken area uh, they're Oh, wow, nice hit there from Sheesh. Uh, there's always an opportunity for you to be falling or jumping at some point to get to the goal, and that gives defenders just another uh, half second to a second to be able to try and shoot you down. All right, well, we see both the defenders sitting in here. A nice shot, actually, Ooh. by Luxus, and he manages to get to a rushdown situation, though, as Lux is still getting out there, but Frantic oh. was knocked out by a great prediction rocket around the side, and TCM finally is on the board. Luxus with a very nice defensive round there, uh, playing the points quite well. Obviously, that very last round, it was a good one. He did it from a blind position and still managed to connect, so he's at no risk of actually getting taken out. Frantic going to be attacking in now for TCM, and he will take a pretty straightforward approach, it looks like. Yeah, he kind of bounced off to the side, and I, I for half a second thought he was maybe going to try and assault through the right-hand uh, side. There are some paths way out wide that you can actually get in a little bit closer. Uh, Clips is playing very far back, though. And it's not, uh, you know, you'll see some teams that move forward towards the laser pad, for example, yeah. but not oh. going to be the case. And TCM uh, Frantic already takes two shots very quickly. Yep, they saw him coming along the bridge. This is pretty exposed for an attacker. It's kind of a kind of a risky way to go. So he is actually going to double back, try a different look. Uh, the laser pad, you don't see as much on Fortress, uh, but oh, actually, as as uh, Frantic gets taken out, the laser pad there, it's kind of open. Um, if someone takes a laser pad early, uh, the attacker can actually hit that from uh, a very early place on the map and, and try to take out a defender really quickly. So it is risky uh, to do the laser pad on this map. There are some North American teams that will just put all three defenders in the goal area and just yeah. wait because, you know, the attacker is going to have to come to you at some point. And, uh, yeah, as you mentioned before, with that extra half a second it takes for you to fall in, it could give the defenders a bit of an advantage there. Well, Frantic's already in the uh, in the capture point. It looks like Luxus is going to come right back. Ooh. Oh, Kaim <laughs> takes a shot around the side from Didix. That was a great shot. We saw some defensive positions here. Nice, Lakaim actually equalizing it a little bit as he moves forward. It is uh, trying to, you know, repeat what he did last time. Didix. Oh, wow. Getting taken out, one defender, two armor left, and that's oh! it. Lakayam takes a nice, successful attack round for Eclipsia. They're up four-one now, and this is uh, this is series series map, not yes. series point. I mean, this is the last map if Eclipsia does manage to win. So TCM needs Didix to do some work here. We'll see if he can do said work. He's had success in the past so far, taking attack rounds and bringing things back when all hope seemed lost for TCM. But uh, they have to land not just one, but two attack rounds, basically in a row, where Eclipse is going to have a, a great shot of taking this whole set. All right, earlier I was trying to say that uh, the area over to the attacker's left right now, that green hill area, that's where we saw some defenders posting up on Monday, but there's a good shot from Didix. He's already started his rampage. He only needs two more kills to get TCM back in it. All right, and that was a little dangerous there. Scary. You had a lot of momentum. There is electrified water sitting in the middle of that uh, little donut 
turret <laughs> thing. The water donut, yes. obviously. All right, Didix moving forward. Two seconds left before it's open. Now he has limited time to be able to get on there. He needs another defensive kill, though, or he could be in trouble. Yes, he could be. Oh, oh. and he's down to just one armor, but he lands a ridiculous shot around the side. I'm not quite sure how that one worked out. Oh. So it's a showdown situation. One armor on one defender. He can't <laughs> get it. Time runs out. Blue wins the turn. And now Eclipsia is on set point. That may have been Didix's best chance of actually getting that uh, attacking round in for his team and now Yipi with the opportunity to seal the deal for Eclipsia even if he doesn't get it they would only need one more defensive round yeah. to actually win the series and move on into our finals and uh, have a well not a 50-50 chance of coming to IPL they still have to win and still have to be better than the other well, team yeah. but uh, you know in sitting in the finals is obviously a great place to be two armor left for Yipi things already looking kind of scary for him as he progresses up the left side yeah Yipi missing an open shot on Didix there was Pretty far away, though. Oh, and Yipi actually down to just one armor now. And uh, oh. we see that TCM likes rushing people down in this position. And indeed, they do again. And that is uh, five to two. But like I said, Luxus has to take this round now or Eclipsia moves into the finals. Yeah, Lux is everything riding on his shoulders. TCM had such an amazing performance to get to this point. I'm really curious if it's like a day-to-day -day thing where Wednesday they were just super on fire and now Friday's come and they're a little bit lazier because it's Friday. Uh, I don't know. Obviously, Eclipsia showed some great games as well against Absolute Legends. They won that match 2-0 in the quarterfinals. All the defensive players uh, waiting by the point, and this is what I was talking about some of the North American teams like to do. They know the attacker has to come to them. There's going to be rockets flying everywhere. Luxus picks off a defender before losing any armor, oh. though. He actually has a chance to keep it alive here for TCM. And if he had landed that third shot, that would have been one of the best attack rounds I've seen in a while. As it stands, he has to actually make his way back up to the point, but uh, this is going to make the defender get a little bit worried there as he's probably wondering where uh, his, uh, the attacker is at. So Luxus can oh. now assault the point. Both <laughs> players missing shots there. He needs to get in down to two armors. Lux is trying to move from the side now. Eight seconds, seven seconds, and Got he gets him. it. TCM needs that attack round, but they also need a defensive round and another attack round after yeah. that. Being down two attack rounds is pretty rough. Lux is, uh, that was a bit stressful, you know, a little bit of a hard stopper as, yeah. uh, as it got close to the end, but now Sheesh is going to give it a shot, and he could actually end the map once and for all with a successful attacking round, 63 <laughs> meters to open it up. Well, that was impressive, yep. and uh, Sheesh, his rail is certainly on at the moment. Sheesh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sheesh. Sheesh, that was a good laser. Sheesh, y'all. Anyway, uh, he is moving up. There's only two defenders remaining already at a nice advantage, looking for that other free shot if the defender had returned. But now it looks like they are both going to be playing near the point, and uh, Sheesh will have a harder time actually getting in there than he did think he taking that first one. I think he could have taken a little more time on that last shot. He had a wide open defender that was sitting there on a predictable fall path. Oh, and now an armor goes down in response. Oh, but he gets a great shot as the defender falls into the capture point. Okay, one defender remaining, two armor left on Sheesh. He could end it all right now for TCM. Eclipsey will move to the finals if he lands one more laser, but he's only got one armor left. TCM. Eight seconds left, seven, six. Now he's on the capture point, oh. and he gets it. That is set point for Eclipsia. They move on to the finals. They are going to play the winner of Dignitas versus Colwyn. All right, Eclipsia moving into the finals. We have our first finalist. Uh, the other semifinal is going to be Team Dignitas versus Colwyn. I do want to thank, obviously, TCM Gaming for signing up and showing such an incredible run to the semifinals. There is one more European qualifier two weeks from, uh, I guess, about eight days, ten days from now eight to ten days from now. Next, Something like yeah, that, not yeah. next week, but the week after is the next and final EU qualifier for TCM Gaming to give it another shot. And, you know, this time... It uh, it's possible that Eclipsia won't be there to run into because if Eclipsia goes to the finals and wins, they're going to get a trip to IPL5 and they don't need to qualify again. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's cool to see, like I said before, that organizations like Eclipsia are obviously a multi-game organization is getting involved in Shoot Mania. We have another such organization coming up next, which is going to be Team Dignitas. Mm -hmm. uh, they're going up against a team of former Quake Live players in Colwyn. So let's go ahead and run to a commercial break. And when we get back, guys, we are going to have your second semifinal of the night.